What do you want to get ready for? I'd love to find love. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Pauline. When you were in your 40s, it was great. Now, in your 60s, it's not. Welcome. Thank you. Are you excited? I am so excited. Woo! I can't wait. Hi Trini. I desperately need your help. I'm 62 years old. I would consider myself to be a fairly safe dresser. I mean, I tend to blend in with the crowd. I never stick out. I'm now about to embark on the dating scene again, which is a bit scary really at my age. Um, and I really need you to work your magic in order to get me ready to have another stab at finding love. Hi! Hello! I'm really How are pleased you? to meet you! You too, oh, darling. Thank you. Yeah. Now there should be a cab outside. Yeah. So we're just going to get in it and go straight to and have a chat. Yeah, come right. on! So, Pauline, you sent me a film and yeah. you said in it that you kind of were ready for a change. I want to look good for my age. I would like people to maybe just look and think, oh, she looks very stylish. What do you want to be doing that you're not doing right now? What do you want to get ready for? Make love. Make, make, make some, love. No, make no, love. No, 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 you want to get ready for yeah, making yeah. love. The cab is quite find, big. Find love. Okay. Find love. Find love. Yeah. Okay. Before I was in a relationship. How long had you been with each other? Ten years. Did he play away? Yes. He did? Yeah. And did you awful. find out? I did, yeah. And it was really upsetting. It was, yeah. Many women will just know that feeling. Yeah. Have that kind of dagger in your heart moment, and yeah. then you have to think, what do I do with this when I know? Yeah, well, you don't when expect you... when you get to my age. And you yeah. met when you were 40? Uh, no, I was in my oh. 50s. And had so. you been in a marriage before? No, it and was. And you thought, because this it's is that it. age? This is it, for the rest of my life. Okay. Oh. So it took you quite a long time to find what you thought was the love of your life. It, I did, yeah, yeah. And I think I've been really unlucky in love, actually. I just okay. don't seem to have met the right person. Do you think you've met yourself fully yet? No, I don't really. Where do you think it's got worse? You've, that you've got less confidence? So in my makeup yeah. and in my dress. I, I feel I've got shortish legs. How tall are you? Um, I think I'm about five foot seven, but I think I keep shrinking, you know, as you do right. when you get yes, older. You do, you do. Smart casual, really, I, doesn't work. I just don't know All what right. to do with it. And if I was to do a match.com application form for Pauline. Have you done one yet? Yeah. <laughs> what did you put on it? A good sense of humour. Yeah. Um, I've travelled quite a lot. Uh -huh. um, I've done some interesting jobs. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking for somebody who is I can have an intelligent conversation with, yeah. but has got a really good sense of humour. I like a man who dresses well, actually. Okay, so that's what Pauline's match.com says. And what's your username? Scarlet. Scarlet! Oh my god, that's where the sense of humour comes out. I'm a bit of a shopaholic. So, so when I... do you find the time in all this incredibly busy life? Trini, be... you can always find time to shop. <laughs> yeah, that's really, 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 I shouldn't even have asked that. You know what I think we need to do with you? You know what I'm tempted to? I think you need to be a blonde. Okay, is it sexier to be a blonde? I nearly want to find a blonde wig. Our mission today is to make Miss Scarlet, Miss Scarlet, All right. ready for action. Got to be a blonde body. Come on, let's go. I, I mean, I'm, I'm more tempted now to just find a blonde wig. Have you ever been a blonde? Well, only when I've been on holiday, my hair bleaches. Yeah. That's not what blonde is. I At the moment, with this hair colour, mm. I think it's quite a challenge to find the right colours for you. Okay, Zara, here we come. Tell me, you're a shopaholic. Yeah. How do you shop? You know, I want so you to go around here, look, it's full of colour. Just go around and think, what would I choose? Go on, right. go. Oh, a bit of blue. Oh, oh, that. That's lovely. Oh, oh, Polly. Oh, yes. Oh, go, 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 go. That's too bright, too bright. Oh, you, uh, yeah. Will I'm, you be a blonde? Yeah, that's scary. But I've got confidence. Something like that. That's a bit different. Oh, maybe try pink. One more minute, Pauline, one more right. minute. Oh, God. I would maybe go one more minute. navy blue. Oh, I love that. 
I think I'm too old for that. You see, this is it. I'm struggling. I like that as well. No. Right. Oh. Perfect. All right. Show me what you've got and why. <laughs> I love it, but I think I'm too old for that. Okay. I don't I'm think too you're too old. It's whether you can wear red. I think I probably need to go more olive -y. It's too bright for you. Yeah. That's yeah. more for a cool tone person with a dark hair or really blonde hair and a peaches and cream skin with no olive in it. Something exciting that you chose something that I, I think there's something interesting in there. I don't think that looks quite nice with jeans. <laughs> it's the most aging thing. Imagine what your nan wore. Okay, it's like yeah. half of the twin set, isn't it? The colour is lovely. Not your colour. Yeah. Unless you are blonde. <laughs> this yeah. is like yeah. if you never yeah. want to have sex, sex again. again. Buy yeah. <laughs> Let me be a virgin the rest of my life jumper. Daring. Yeah, yeah. Pale pink, washed yeah. out, stone denim jean. Yeah. That is daring. I have no idea how that will look. <laughs> there is a stylish woman inside you, for right. sure. It's like, can you wear, for example, hot pink? See, I look at your eyes and I'm thinking, if you were blonde! <laughs> Lucy is on the phone um, trying to locate a blonde wig. Are you, have you had any luck? The team are on it. Okay, all right, let's look in the mirror here. You are a classic pair. You've got a slightly sloping shoulder and that's something that as you get older, it's key. Yeah. So you, you need to take your sloping shoulder and square it up right. to feel sharp. The neck is showing that postmenopausal bit, mm. and then your skin here is very nice. And because you have so much skin between here and here, that contrast that I can see ages you. So if you have tops that are like that, and you have a structure to your shoulder like that, yeah. You look younger. Yeah. Then here, what's amazing is I do, that's like quite baggy, but if I just do this, but that is a waist. By you're wearing that, that's so big, you've lost any kind of, oh my goodness, I have a shape. So we need to think, if we get you a dress, we've got to be fitted here so that we can show a broader looking shoulder because we see a narrower waist. Right. There's a leg <laughs> under that, look. Which is hidden in the sort of bag trouser. Oh, there's a leg. I want to see also just a structured little white jacket. Something like this can age you or look good on you. If you made it smart with a white skirt, I think it would age you. Yeah. If you wear it with a pair of jeans and white trainers, it could be cool. It's too much. That blue knot, old fashioned and aging, is too bright, too floral, too voluminous. Could you do a jeans dress? Could you do blue? Could you? All these questions are coming up. I think it's small, but it's oversized, so I'm going to go for an extra small. Oh, I think it's extra oh, large. Let's break out the oh. extra smallness. Whoa. Oh, I want those trousers for myself. Sorry, they don't sell them online anymore, and I'm obsessed. These are the best trousers in Zara, $29.99. I love them for traveling, flying, everything, but we need the shirt that goes with it. So we're going to shove this on here and just go out for more. Yalla, yalla. I believe I can fly. Okay, we need a pair of sexy shoes and let's go. It's a little baby steps. That's what it's all about. Going on a date again. It's yeah. baby steps, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Just, this, I would never have worn and picked at anything like this at all. This is really out of my comfort zone. I feel this neckline kicks right at the point of your line. I yeah. like to tuck them away. And that is better. Yeah. And the white is freshness. It's showing off your waist here. It's giving you structure. Yeah. You might want to do magic underwear with it. When we grow older, our chin just continues to grow. I know. It's like our chin and our nose keep growing. So we can, that's how witches, who we always have portrayed at 150 years old, they've met their chin and their nose. You know that thing? But I'm just, you have a fringe, I'll look at your chin more. You do wear the fringe to hide the lines. lines. If you didn't have it, and how it might open up your face. Because that isn't sexy. Not sexy. Not sexy. Okay. You yeah. still feel sexy. No, 
Well, not really. I think Do you I still masturbate? Very, very occasionally now. As a single woman, how often, I call it masturbation, not masturbation, because I think it's politer. Not to have a vulgar conversation, Pauline, but more, yeah. it's a mark of how sensual you feel. And our sex drive definitely goes down. Even if we're doing hormone treatment, we still feel, oh, it's important that your exterior reflects enough when you look back at your reflection to make you feel sensual in a bit yeah, or, yeah. or present. I love the way that the shirt does up at your neckline. I think it's clean and fresh and smart. Jacket completely out of my comfort zone. Love the trainers. I've always thought well, maybe I'm look, trying to look young wearing trainers, but I can see how they actually work. Yeah. There she goes again. I think it's fabulous on you. Fabulous. Okay, okay, come on, next outfit. So for women watching at home where you might have this look and suddenly when you were in your 40s it was great and now in your 60s it's not. So I'm going to see, can we remedy it? So I'm going to tie that up. So I'm going to put the jacket on it and just give you a shape on your waist. Now the jacket is too big. You want to have the volume coming where it's coming from a smaller place. If you have the jacket ending where the volume is wide, you'll Watch feel wider. That. We might be doing this a bit with a sleeve jacket. So you're covering your arm, yeah. but it's just looking a bit cooler, but just sort of like that. All right, hold on there. This is too pointy for you, so I'm just going for that. Just walk back and forth, Pauline, feel it. Feel it. You've got to feel it. I like this. Yeah. Do you feel good in this? I feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Is it coming I feel, into? I feel, I feel trendier. Already. You feel trendier, Pauline. <laughs> That's the word we've been waiting for all bloody Yay. day. So we've taken the boring jeans denim dress and we've dressed it up, but we've cooled it down. Yeah. Say that to every woman in her 60s. The crossbody bag, pair of trainers, and a cool set of sunglasses yes. can take all your boring MS tea dresses and make them something different. Friendly. Smiling. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't do them don't that. Do don't suddenly tell me to wash my bloody hands and ruin the whole look. Bra situation would have to change. The yeah. belt I'd probably do differently. I would put you in some suck me in underwear. But I love the colour on you. <gasps> I mean, kind of something fab about it. Really love about it. Okay, now let's try it with a couple of different jackets. But can I just say, just have a look at yourself in the mirror. Take a step back, Pauline. Whenever we look in the mirror, we need to look at the mirror objectively. So you need to look at the whole of you, you know, because we'll always look at what we see. You look like you've got a tiny waist and very long legs. Mm, yeah. And you were worried about your short legs. <laughs> you've got an it's audience, like, Pauline. Like, thank you very much. And I'm thinking of turning Pauline into a blonde. <laughs> I come a blonde. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Ladies! Step away from red with black. I know, I take a lot of my inspiration of colour uh, from you. Indian saris and from Miss Sony, how they do their scarves. Oh Pauline has recently split up with her husband. She's 62 and she's looking for love. So if any of you go nice young men. Keep an eye out. Thank you, ladies. Lucy, we need perhaps a different shoe. been lovely having the comments from the people in the shop you know women are really nice to each other sometimes aren't they you know it's really nice let's go for these options always options we're now doing a casual day look look because you never know Pauline who you, who might, you meet. might meet you've gone to Tesco's for a shop up <laughs> Yeah, I can do the supermarket in this. <laughs> this is your Tesco shop up outfit. Okay. Carry on walking. Definitely younger and trendier. Let's dance to that, Pauline. <laughs> Jig your way to the change room. Come on, Pauline. <laughs> I kind of loved just seeing that side view. Imagine without a fringe and the hair slightly different colour. <laughs> 
<laughs> but there's something about the way you carried this off that I loved. This to me is your outfit that you've, you've met the guy and now you're going round Florence. Now this look, like looking like that, that could have been you. There's an amazing youthfulness about that crop jean with a bit of open toe, but not mm. showing too much of our feet. And with a neatness here going back of the jacket to give you that waist. I mean, look at your leg length too. There's a woman yeah. who came in thinking she had short legs. So do you know what we've chosen? Well, I think you've chosen for me. I have. Come on, let's go next. We're very, very late. Clap. Exit of Zora. How do you feel? Oh, I feel absolutely amazing. I feel, I feel 20 years younger already. Because at the beginning, Pauline, I have to say, my God, it was like a piece of old bread having to warm it up in the oven. Thank you, Trish. No, I'm just being <laughs> frank, OK? And then I saw this twinkle in your eye, and I thought, finally. You know, I want to just go a bit more than I look OK or just nice. You know, now I've got yeah. to get myself out there and find a I nice know, young you have, man. Haven't you? Young man! <laughs> the aspirations of Pauline are getting... <laughs> It's quite short, the hair, but we want to do something that really lifts you a little bit. I want her to be blonde. Yeah, no, I agree. Totally. Oh, you do? Oh, thank God I mean, for that. This is the most important thing. So she comes here, yeah. beautiful salon, then Pauline's going home. Mm -hmm. I just don't want Pauline to feel, mm. hell, what am I going to yeah, do? Exactly. Right. What there is, is a plan that we can give you where maybe you've got to go, Pauline, to a salon twice a year. But there will be things that you can do throughout the other period of time where you can maintain it yourself. This. Oh my god, that's so elegant, isn't it? <laughs> You're saying the right things. Keep going, keep it's going. Good though, isn't it? That's I mean, amazing. That's it. Got to make sure that she's got all the correct products that she can maintain the roots herself at home. But Pauline, you can't get any colour on the ends of your hair, so you're only right. doing the roots yeah. okay. because yeah. you lose all the lovely highlights. Well, I don't do that. <laughs> We're going to do more of this sort of highlighting traditional technique to get the hairs around the face really nice and bright so it feels like it's growing out of the head. And then afterwards we'll do more of the balayage kind of lived in sunken feel. Now if I find a gorgeous man after all of this, uh, I'll, I'll have to let you know and come to the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about relationships. Yeah. 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 Looking, so we're all looking single, for how are you? I'm in a relationship. Aww. With a doggy. What yeah. sort of place have you brought me to? Not, not, not with a dog. With a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel very glamorous at the moment. I can definitely recommend this. <laughs> so, we're going a little bit shorter, but not much. You look young already. Ooh, you do know how to flatter a girl. <laughs> Wow, my goodness, look at that point. It, it looks incredible. Bye. Bye bye. Hey, Pauline, how are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Even though I haven't actually seen anything yet, it just feels so good. Are you ready for the makeup? I can't wait for that. All right, Pauline. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm Charlotte. Nice to meet you. And we're doing your makeup today. Yeah, great. Um, I know you've had a little trip to Josh, and yeah. you've got surprises going on under here. Things are going to be looking a bit different. I saw your video that you did earlier, um, and I know that you struggle a little bit with your eyes. Um, whereas I think you used a champagne colour, didn't you? Sort yeah. of all over. Yeah. And that, while it colours the lid, it's not doing anything to actually push these little bits back to yeah. bring your beautiful green eyes forward. So I'm going to do BFF in light medium. I could really like tinted moisturiser because you've got lovely skin actually. Your colour is really even so this is just going to sort of even everything out even more. Amelia just a touch. Literally like a veil. You can apply this with your fingers. BFF eye underneath your eye and you're going to be redder. 
I like with this one, first layer I like to pat it on, and then if I want to build it up, I'll build it up with a brush. Okay. But like a quite a flush, fluffy brush. Yeah. Take it right into the corner of your eye because you've got a little bit dark there by the bridge of your nose. It dries but is still movable, yeah. so it doesn't go chalky. Cheeky little cheekbones in Kate, which is a bit, bit Frankenstein scary in the pot, but yeah. you use the tiniest bit on your finger. Cheekwise, Lady J, this one, is a really good nude neutral, take you anywhere kind of shade. It feels very light, everything feels very light. It all is light, yeah. it's glowy light. Yeah. Eyes colours, I have chosen for you. Wisdom and Desire. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do with Wisdom is we're going to tease it up to that little hooded section. Feel that? Yeah. You can feel that bone. Yeah. So that's where you want to be targeting. Yeah. Because any shadow you put on that is going to push that bone back. And then the trick will be keep it all diagonally up, aiming towards your eyebrow. Thin, fine layers work best for when you're building up colour. Sits better on the skin. Use the same colour, what I like about Wisdom, underneath, mm -hmm. along probably just where your iris starts there. I'm not taking it any further in, so it's like two thirds. And now we're going to do your bit of your smoky accent colour, bringing it up onto that brow bone, but not as high right. as we bought the Wisdom, because we don't want that dark colour taken all the way. So you've got a couple of open pores on your cheeks. Mm. I'm going to miracle blur them out, just in all the little areas. A little layer of Freddy lip to cheek. But very flattering, easy to wear nude lip. And then I'm going to top it off with Mama. I feel, as though I, I feel as though I'm underdressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, do you think yeah. I'll get a date now? Okay. I think you should give up your job and take up modelling. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some really, when I was wearing it in the shop, I had some really good comments from ladies in the shop. This is the worst angle, but camera crew. Here, one of you, Chloe, you come in here. I know it's not beautifully lit. And you can stay here, Sylvia, to get the shot. I want you to come here and then look here. Okay, one, the final three. reveal. Look. What do you think of being a blonde? Different, so completely different, and it's. I love it. Love it. Love all. You of see it. yourself wearing it out? Of course. <laughs> Every day. Outfit of the day. I'm wearing a fantastic orange jumpsuit from Zara. A belt, a white belt complementing it from Essentials Antwerp. A beautiful red cape which hides my arms, that's from Zara as well. Absolutely fantastic blonde hair by Josh Wood. Fantastic makeup by Trini London. And finally, absolutely gorgeous shoes by Zara. Magnificent. Oh, thank you ever so much. And makeover by Trini. Darling, thank you for coming thank, with well, us. Well, thank you ever so much for doing it. Mm. It's been absolutely fantastic. It was a joy. I've enjoyed it so much that I haven't been bothered to reapply my makeup. That's how much <laughs> fun I've had. I've eaten crisps and all my makeup is off, but it's been oh, you look just fantastic such a anyway. pleasure seeing the thank change you. in you. Thank and you. just seeing that kind of Seeing you emerge, right. really yeah. emerge, yeah. Pauline. I, I know, feel as if I have. Now, what are you going to go back and do? I am going to go back and I am going to say, here, boys, come and get me. Uh -huh. uh, and a young man I'm looking and for. And a young man. And so a young 50's over... all right, but yeah. nothing over 60. So between 50 and 60 is what Pauline is yeah. looking for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Better, better here than match.com. <laughs> I wish you all success. Right. Thank you ever so much. All right, darling. And Thank just you. go off into the night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
for a blog. Yes. Oh, join the bloody club. Yeah. All of mine have got girlfriends.